What's happening guys? My name's Red Hero Dan and welcome to Ira. This is a point and click atmospheric exploration puzzle game. It's a bunch of stuff in one and the whole precipice behind this is that right now it's a demo. Um, and I I've seen screenshots, I've heard the soundtrack. It sounds amazing and beautiful. I don't want to jump into it right now because I need to play something to get my mind off of the awful fucking pain that my shoulders are in from doing stupid shit. So, also guys, there's a Kickstarter for this. The page is gonna be in the link in the description below, okay? So be sure to check that out. The smell of rocket fuel hangs in the air. Even, damn it, I didn't catch that. That's what I get for having slow eyes, man. The year is 1932 and summer fades over the land surrounding pilgrimage as launch day fast approaches. So this place must be pilgrimage. Anticipation fills the air and the world's gaze is drawn to the tiny town as the final trains make their way into the station. I can't look down, guys. Don't judge me. I gotta like turn my head and it hurts like a bitch. Pilgrimage News Radio, where the words are as true as they are fresh. Oh, there's voice acting. Your host tonight. The town is a buzz for the launch of the Holocene. This looks today. promising. And Pilgrimage will once again be thrust into the world spotlight. Earth's first. Oh man. Okay. So essentially, that just told about a launch that's gonna explore the lithic system. But oh, this is awesome. Like the all the recording, everything. It sounds. The sound effects are awesome. Like that's all I can say. This is, Banjo player. Well, this looks like it'll just be me and you riding the rest of this line, pal. No, I'll be hopping off the next. I'll be hopping off next stop. I suppose so. I'm not sticking around here. Why? What's the next town? This is good. I like this. Can I click? Oh, those are my options. Oh shit! I want to know the next town. Next up, the line is pilgrimage. The last town for 50 miles. Sounds about right. Like sounds like this place. Types like you and me ought to be steering clear of there about now. Uh, what's so wrong with pilgrimage? I want to know. I'm curious. Well, you're not going to find any work there, that's for sure. Not unless you plan on hauling it up to Mars. Oh, yeah, that's right. They were talking about the launch. Intel Co. owns that town. Between the miners headed for Mars and that Holocene. What's a Holocene? Dude, oh, dude, there's so many questions already. It doesn't seem like the kind of place I'd like to get caught up. Mm, all right, well... The last ride out to Mars leaves soon, so miners are crawling all over that town. So they're gonna go mine Mars. 1932. I know it works. Shit, I didn't read that. To be desperate enough to sell your soul to Intel Co. and go mine in the red sand. Dude, okay, so work must be hard this time, and people are trying to go. Nobody will even notice them, though. Everybody's got their eyes on the Holocene. So I take it the Holocene are like all those rich folks. Headed into town for launch day, Intel Co. will be sure to keep types like us out of the way. Okay, so the Holocene must be like the, the high society, you know what I mean? It's all just profit for Intel Co. They don't care who has to suffer to make a buck. Well, that's generally business, man. That's how it works. But that banjo, the dude's just plucking away, wearing a similar hat to mine, except it's all gray. So what a, oh shit, I thought maybe it was me. Pilgrimage, gateway to the stars, gateway to nothing if you ask me. Well, banjo player, I hope I get this guy's name. The whole thing's a sham. Folks there are as poor as anywhere else. It's all a show. This dude must have been there before. If you're living in that town, then Intel Co. good as own shoot. Damn. Okay, so Intel Co. must be the people sending the rockets up. Nope, there's nothing for us there in Pilgrimage. That town is a dead end. All right, so maybe I shouldn't stop off, or maybe I should. Ooh, doesn't matter, we're stopping anyway. I really want to know what's going on here. I want to know what up with pilgrimage. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. You know, when I say gorgeous, don't mean like, oh my god, these visuals are stunning. There is a certain beauty and simplicity, especially when it comes to point and click puzzle games and stuff like that. It just, I don't know, like if you've ever seen a picture that's not necessarily like too complex, but it just hits right, it's like that, it's like minimalism. All right, so, <laughs> damn dude, that guy's a beanpole. Dad, I'm just finishing up the car here. Did you need something? Oh fuck, dude, me like, dude, I'm a beanpole. Mom told me to come out and ask if you needed anything. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, I'm gonna help dad, let's see, let, what, what do we got here? Oh, thank you Ira, I'm Ira. Sure, I could always use an extra hand, all right. I'm just trying to get the car back up and running before I run out of time here. Where are you going? 
before I leave, I mean. So he must be scooping. He must be going. He must be a miner. I can't leave your mother here all winter with the car breaking down every couple of miles. Oh. Aren't you excited to go to Mars again? When are you leaving? Yeah, I'm going to ask him if he's excited. Well, no. It's not like that, Ira. It's hard work and just feels very far from home. Yeah, no fucking joke. It's like another planet away. It isn't nearly as glamorous as all the Holocene business going on. I know you're interested in all that. All the buzz around a ship headed to a new star. But mining on Mars, it's just work. Yeah, no joke. At least the car will be in good shape before I go. Could you bring me that wrench from above the workbench? Yeah, I got you. Okay, so wrench. Point and click. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, like I, I do. I love the the minimal visuals. It's just, it's awesome. It's like watching a, you remember old Pixar movies, like before Disney movies, stuff like that, those little animations? That. That's what it's like, and I love it. I have fucking terrifying eyes. Take this wrench. I have no fingernails. Just a few turns here. And just, that's it? Alright, now I just need a, fuel, need a fuel line to replace this one here. I think there's one out in the barn. Could you run out and see if you can find it? What? A fuel line? You just have a spare fuel line? What? I've had to replace a fuel line in a goddamn Jeep before. I didn't have that lying around. I had to go to the parts store. The night air was crisp, a cool wind moving in from the north, catching up the last summer's warmth. All right, so where's the barn? Garage. Oh my gosh, dude, the whole world is three. This is awesome. Where the hell's the barn? I don't know where to go. Let's keep going this way. I'm pretty sure I can only click, yeah, I can only go along the road. So it's gotta be back maybe behind the house or in front of the house. I don't know which way is forward. This has gotta be the barn. It wouldn't let me go out the other way, so. Is that a tractor? I'm gonna check out the tractor. I just want to look at everything. Dad bought this before he married mom. He said when he comes home from mining in the spring, he'll teach me how to drive it. Oh, hell yes. The hose from this gas tank is exactly like the one we need to finish the car. Um, leave the hose alone. I need, he said there was one in the barn anyway, so I'm going to go check the barn. I don't need to take one. You know what I'm saying? I, this is not what you do. The darkness in the barn is thick, but moonbeams through the cracks give just enough light to illuminate a few boxes tucked in the corner. All right, so thank you, Moon. You're hooking me up. Oh, shit. But instead of you and concealed by shadows. Oh, God, there's an alien. Uh, uh, call up. I'm not climbing up there. Dude, that's how you die. You don't just, you just don't climb up there. Dot, dot, dot. Iris' voice is swallowed up by darkness. There is no response. Search boxes. Fuck it, I'm not going up there, man. Not right now. Mice scurry out as Ira feels around in the boxes. He tosses aside old oil-soaked rags and his fingers quickly find the soft rubber hose. <laughs> Got it. Ira tugs firmly! But it is lodged between some rusted bits of junk and won't come free. He pulls again, harder this time, but the hose is lodged tightly. It's rubber, man. That shit's gonna, like, spring out of those and just slap you in the goddamn face. Don't do that. With one final heave, the hose comes free, but knocks the box to the ground and sends, God damn it, I can't read that fast when I do commentary. Ira's first fist tightly closed around the hose. Shadows on the wall, jostling it to life. I had to get that one done quickly, guys. Ira looks around the darkness of the barn and is overcome with a feeling of unwelcomeness. He hurries out the door, hose in hand. Got that shit though, and I didn't take it from the tractor. Now, dad can't be pissed at me if I stole it from the tractor. Plus, I don't think I would have had that cool experience if I would have taken it from the tractor. Dude, I'm, I still can't even, like, this is the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it like I can, but it's awesome. Like, the sounds, the ambience, it's all just, it's all just there. Like, it's, it's really good. I can't wait to see more of this. Yo, Dad, let me hook you up with some of this hose. I had to pull it between two rusty bits that slapped me in the goddamn head. So my face is misshapen. Oh, what? Oh, the hose, right. Yeah, you needed that, dude. Hang on a second. The damn threads are stripped again. Cheap Intel code trash. They make this garbage to last about a month, I swear. They must be the car parts manufacturers. Biggest company in the world, so the best think they can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, I need to tell us about it. We know. <laughs> the send the send us off to sweet and bleed to sweat and bleed. I couldn't even, dude. Bad as things are now, before the Union, we'd have a death every day. There's a Mars Union still. Most of us can barely afford to buy gear that isn't about to fall apart. That, it looks pretty fresh. I mean, can you believe that? We mine for them up on that godforsaken planet, and we have to go buy our own gear. It's a miracle we don't all die up there, but still, a lot of us do. That must suck. Dude's been there multiple times, though. You know what I'm saying? 
A lot of good men don't come back. There are too many widows in this town because of that damn company. Seems like Intel Co's problematic. Son of a bitch. This is all gone to hell now. He just poured that on his son. His son's about to see him leave off. Dude, that's heavy shit. It's not so bad. At least you're working, right? Are you upset because mom is getting sicker? Oh, shit. Oh, I gotta go with that one. Dad, dot, dot, dot. Ooh, ooh, I... Well, I can't. It's fine. Now. Everything is going to be fine. I just can't think about that. Not right now. We're going to be all right. All of us. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, why don't you head in? Your mother might need a hand with dinner. And I think they're doing a special about the Holocene tonight on TV. You don't want to miss that, right? Go on inside, Ira. I just need to spend some more time out here getting this back together. Oh, I'll just do what he says, man. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. Ira, I love you, son. Oh, dude, no, that was gonna die. They always say that shit and then they die. Oh, you can't do that to me. You can't break my fucking heart. Damn, dude, I'm getting all attached to these characters that I just started. This is a demo. All right, we're inside. What do we got? Even the lighting, it's, oh, it's so good. Oh my God. Duh, duh. Oh no, don't you tell me mom's gone. You son of a bitch. Ira, okay, thank you. Oh yes, all right. Oh, I didn't know you were asleep. That's all right, Ira, not quite sleeping, just tired. I was going to watch that special on Hollow Scene with you, remember? Yeah, I remember. The Hollow Scene special. I just, give me a few minutes. I need to wake myself up. Is everything okay? Of course, everything is fine, Ira. It's just been a hard week and your father is getting ready to leave and all. Oh, dude, she's sad. It's nothing for you to worry about. Why don't you go watch her special? Oh! You can tell us about it at dinner. Oh! Oh, I never did start cooking. Could you go and do that for me? Well, shit, there goes the special. All you have to do is just put the pot on the stove. Everything is made. After you do that, you can go and get your father so we can all eat. Okay, I'll put dinner on, then go get dad. That would be lovely. So, damn, dude, by the time I walk back, it'll be done. Thank you, Ira. I'll see you out there soon. I love you. Oh, no, dude. One of the parents is gonna go. If not, both of the parents can't do that shit. Where's the stove? That's the fireplace. There's the wood in here. Those are way too big to fit in that furnace. What the fuck? Oh, where, where's the kitchen? Come on, you can you can make it. What is that? It's a clock. Don't ring at me. Don't make me jump. Okay, cool. All right, put the pot on the stove. And then, that's a big ass bin of potatoes. And there are potatoes everywhere? Whoa, soup, everything. Put the pot on the stove, Ira. Be a good lad and do that shit. Yeah, there we go, okay. I kind of look like a really young Superman, except not rich. Like, look at that. Now that I've got supper cooking, I should go get dad from the garage. You're right. Let's go do that. Let's make that, let's make that happen. Okay, so. Dude, this is already getting heavy. Don't gaze at me like that, Ira. Oh. Oh, what is this tension building? What is this? Now the TV? Oh, don't you do a jump scare? I can't take that shit right now. Oh, no. Mom's door is open. Where's mom? Wait, did that weird shadowy figure do some crazy shit beforehand? I can't see. Are we just gonna load up the garage? God, I hope so. The sound of water floods the senses watching me in an old reality, leaving behind only the shell of Iris' former life. What? What? That was empty? Memories ring out like echoes, fading in a slow precision. Procession, shit. Oh, whoa, time out, hold on, is that? The past decays and future remains unseen. Time pressing forward blindly, unaware of its mortal passengers. Wait, hold on, it was just raining. Did I just like step into a different reality through the fucking door? The flow of hours turning into decades carries Ira down its twisting streams. So we're decades in the future now? And Ira's still, Ira's working. It carries his father to distant Martian mines. Tharsis Fields Intel Company. Oh, am I Ira on Mars now? Or am I with Ira's dad? Whoa. Dude, that is trippy. It sweeps up his mother, his home, and his bearing. His mom's not in the future. It didn't mention. It just mentioned that she was swept up. Whoa. And it carries Ira to places he has never known. And we're going to find those places out. You bet your ass we are. Okay, all right, so Ira finds what feels like stability washing ashore on the rigidness of a moment lost and alone 
but a voice rises from within. It draws him back into the house like a sign of hope through the murkiness of this reality. So we got to go back home. We got to go inside, dude. That's There was a car and a dad in there and other apparatuses, and they're not there anymore. My house is empty as shit. What? The call grows louder, guiding Ayer through this tomb of a home. Oh, dude, all right. So it looks like the house is either, like, abandoned or up for sale or some shit. There's furniture everywhere. What? What? Oh, don't make me do... Oh, now I gotta go upstairs? The inner voice is clear now. It just Ira up the stairs, promising escape. I wonder if this is Ira's, like, internal monologue the whole time or his thoughts. I'm not entirely sure. A familiar feeling comes with the attic's stale air, but it is fleeting. You live up here, bro? Are you one of those, like, crazy obsessed people with, with the stars and shit? Let's hit up the radio. Is this a CV radio? I can't tell. Let's find out. Lithic symbols. What? I must be studying that stuff. A distant voice rises through the radio static. It's tone familiar, but with the words too but the words too muffled to make out. The sound is barely audible, but Ira finds comfort in the noise beneath the static. Is he like the only person left? Closing his eyes, Ira focuses on the voice. Words reveal themselves. How can we know where we have been? Oh, I've been nowhere, only by looking backwards. Here is everywhere. Only by looking backwards in this scenario. It is where we all have come from. That much is true. Yeah, no joke. But knowing what has been is not knowing at all. Oh, all right, you about to drop some heavy shit on me? Do you know where you will be? No, that's the future. That's not the past. That's not the point. Nothing is certain, no way is set. Your perspective is flawed, but you must know that. Am I responding back to this voice? You wouldn't have come otherwise. You couldn't have come. I just did it because the game told me to, man. <laughs> Do you know where you are? The attic of my house. Of course, you couldn't know, could you? Not in this way. You're right. Because, like, everything disappeared all of a sudden, and my life turned completely... W wake up. What? This has got to be like Ira in the future all of a sudden. I am in some, like... Legend of Zelda Temple of Time shit. I'm in the realm of the sages. What? I'll step into this machine. Let's do it, dude. Just go in there. Wait, I guess that doesn't matter. Why'd you give me the cursor if I can't do anything? Oh, man, dude, this is getting deep and complex. I'm excited. Ira's mind slips through the years, escaping time, caught up in the void. I am excited for the shit. Am I a spaceman now? But the mind reemerges, called back into the slow march of time after years of suspension. Tell me I'm in like the super future because I am in a cryogenic stasis right now. I am a spaceman with really terrifying eyes. Iris head throbs with pain. He can barely focus on a single thought. Dude, yeah, if you were cryogenically frozen, I imagine the room is familiar, but it's a distant memory. His mind isn't able to recall why he knows the place or when he has been here. Oh shit, dude, it must have been a long time. Call terminal or central terminal. Let's hit that up. What? Computer initializing power up sequence. Errors, a bunch of numbers detected. Attempting bypass of faulty systems, method failed. Computer ain't working, please contact the administrator. What if I am an administrator? The elevator's power returns, a crack of switch from above. Life returning to the terminal's dusty speaker, a voice emerges through the static. What do we got? These rats again, destroying my ship, wire by wire. Back vermin, flee from the sound of my voice. <laughs> I like this tyrant. I just repaired this unit, you miserable rodents. Although this is the first time the rats have powered up any systems, that is fascinating. I'm not a rat, asshole. Computer log, record event on arrival of the Lithic System Plus, 1082. Rats have transitioned from wire chewing to attempts at utilizing ship systems. Motivation unknown. Oh god. Oh, hello, where am I? Who are you? Can you help me? Hello. I'm just, is there someone down there? You're not a rat at all. The ship's logs show that all stasis pods gave out ages ago. It is a miracle the crew is not dead. Damn! Am I the only one? Please excuse my informality. Allow me to introduce myself. This is your acting captain, assumed commander of the Holocene 2, the master of this vessel. The Holocene 2. It's good to have you in my service. It's good to have anyone in my service, actually. Uh, we're on a ship? Of course we're on a ship. You're aboard the Holocene 2, crewman. This system, or this seems to be obvious information. Your mental state may be worse than I expected. How could you describe your current condition? Fuck it, I just, what? I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I'm fine, can you help me get out of here or not? 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. I like your spirit, crewman. You have been in stasis longer than the recommended duration, so there may be some possible symptoms. Yeah, pounding headache, dude. Please feel free to report any feelings of nausea, increased heart rate, hallucinations, or the sensation of death. Well, great, that, that's a wonderful sensation we all just fucking come back from, right? Oh my god. Given your... Damn it, I missed it. You'll have some catching up to do, especially after the incident, but I'm sure you'll rise to the occasion. What incident? Ah, uh, yes. Day one of arrival to the Olithic system. We're in the Olithic system! The ship's automated systems were compromised. The system is flooded with electromagnetic interference, which wreaked havoc on the electrical grid. By the time I assumed the role of captain, the stasis chambers had succumbed to the surge. Damn, so storm hit us, electromagnetic storm, but the ship was saved. I took control of the navigation manually, just in time, too. Our mission shall continue, though we may be delayed by the inconvenient mass loss of life among the crew. Fuck! All the crew's gone, but you're here now. You are undoubtedly in a state of great confusion. Allow me to reacquaint you with the Holocene, too. Please do. Oh, man, dude, now shit's getting crazy complex. As you can see, stasis pods will be in a short supply. Yeah, I, I was the only one I saw. Well, I guess there were other doors, too, weren't there? Fuck. What? The, their occupants will need removal. So I gotta take out dead bodies? I can't imagine that will be a pleasant task. Yeah, dude, why not just, like, eject them into space as coffins? You don't, you don't, you can't really reason them. They're, like, not working. At least we were making good use of the airlock. What do you mean, good use of the airlock? I'm not doing that shit. Plants growing in there? That's gotta be like a food lab or something. Welcome to the greenhouse level. Yeah, where your stress will melt away as soon as you watch fruits of your labor grow and propagate. Speaking of which, you've been promoted to head botanist. With the recent loss of an entire biology department, congratulations! <laughs> Thanks, man! I'm super glad to take over the entire biological department. Oh my god. Don't be intimidated by the state of the place. I trust that you'll be able to get things in good order in no time. I did work on a farm, so I assumed that it would be the same. I would suggest making it a priority, though. Most of the food stores were vented into space four weeks ago. What the fuck? Are you saying that everyone on the ship is dead? Yeah, I'm more concerned with that. Yes! He's so- Yes! I'll just- Alright! Moving along! <laughs> this captain has- This captain has fucking moxie. Okay, this guy has no chill. He doesn't slow down, not even for the death of an entire crew. What?! Oh my god, dude! There are so many questions still! What?! Science! Welcome to the laboratory level. Thanks, captain. This is research vessel, vessel after all. State-of-the-art equipment should make- the, should make light work of uncovering the many secrets of the lithic system. Yeah, you think so? I can't seem to locate your scientific background in your file. But no matter. Dude, I was a farmer! What? Take some time to familiarize yourself with the lab. Make yourself comfortable and you should be ready to assume the position as the head researcher. Again, congratulations, though. I must really insist that you don't touch the particle accelerator before reading the manual. Even then, please don't touch the particle accelerator. <laughs> Why are you- can, I, I can't look at any of this shit, right? No, I didn't think so. Why are you showing this to me? Don't worry about taking it all at once. I have several volumes of system manuals somewhere. You'll get there eventually. To the next level! Oh, great! What's the next level? Is it gonna be like the... Hall of Rooms? No, that can't be it. Tell me it's like the... Whoa! Ah, my pride in the heart of the ship, the engine's core. At my disposal here is the power to bridge the stars, to travel vast at great speed. To conquer the expanses, the power would corrupt the mind of of a lesser captain. But I assure you, you're in good hands. Yeah, no joke. Just look at it. Take its awe-striking potential. What the hell? Da, da, da. This is actually several pay grades above your clearance level. Why am I allowing you to see this? As your captain, I already to erase your memories of this place. Do you even know what you're saying? Dude, I think this captain's crazy as shit. Of course. This can't be the first time his entire crew died off. Our journey is nearing an end. You're about to enter the upper deck of the Holocene 2. Wonderful. Now I get to see this captain face to face. I swear. What the hell? Is captain a computer? Uh, this is the 1,082nd day in orbit of Hermes on the outer rim of the lithic system. This is our designated rendezvous point with the crew of the Holocene. Protocol dictates that we... Wait docking instructions for the crew on the surface, which has yet to arrive. So the captain's computer? Once again, I'm the commander of this vessel. Captain of the Holocene 2. But I suppose that's not what you mean. What I am is the Z120 automated control system for the Holocene 2. 
So the captain must have died. You're just a computer. Well, yes, that is true. But I'm fully capable of fulfilling my duties despite my limited physical form. Besides, crewman, you're here. The manifest has doubled. With you here, the manifest has doubled. Now, our mission is sure to succeed. What is our mission? Is there bridge interference? Yeah, let's, let's check that out. I'm wearing a spaceman costume now. Fuck with it. I'm still a beanpole, though. Still a bit. Not quite filling out the legs. I realize you're curious, but please try not to break anything. Dude, is that an... Is that a mini computer within a computer? What? Loading console systems. Let's check out communications. In the static, a sound emerges. A sound that was still ringing in the back of his mind. It flows through Ira's body. What? That interference has been flooding all of the standard radio channels since we arrived. It has made maintaining ship control something of a challenge. The worst part has been maintaining a stable orbit. Our sensors required radical adjustments to make any sense of navigation readouts. Dude. <laughs> How? If you just woke up from cryogenic stasis or some shit like that, and all of a sudden a computer's just giving this shit to you? What? This is like Fallout type shit where you just wake up and then everything's different. Whoa! Why do I know this sound? You must be mistaken. It is quite impossible for you to have to heard this sound. It is localized to the lithic system and you only just woke from stasis. Perhaps you're not hearing the signal clearly. Allow me to amplify the receiver. Yeah, please just make that static louder. Make it scream at my fuck. The interference has caused another power surge. Life support has gone critical. You need to evacuate. The lander craft are through the starboard hatch. Let's go get a lander craft. There's one lander ready as functional. Okay, cool. Don't waste time. Atmosphere could vent at any moment. Run to haul. Yeah, haul ass, dude. Don't waste time. I don't have time to explore and shit. What? I'm ascending the door's controls. I'm accessing the door's controls. Almost there. I could have just done that myself. There's a fucking turning knob. There, the door's open. Run. Do I have to find a lander now? I'll hit the, the only green one there is. Woo! What the hell? Oh my god, dude. Am I out in space? Oh, I'm just going to this planet, this giant blue. The system of interference is blocking planetary transmissions. I'm scanning the surface of signs of settlements. Uh, we're descending too fast. We need to decrease our speed. Oh, uh, okay, so then we just fucking boost forward. That's how you do it. Brace for impact. You're a shitty captain. What? We need to decrease speed and you fucking hit the accelerator. Why? Why? Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Did I land? Am I on this? It's a frozen planet. That's why it was all blue. Oh, dude, and I crashed. And now I'm stuck here. What? Oh, is that a farmhouse with a, a tower? Act one, pilgrimage. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh, dude. Is that the end of the demo? If so, that was amazing. Oh, shit. What? That is unlike any point and click I've played before. Oh, well, I guess that's the end of this episode, guys. What? I still have so many questions. Oh, my God. I'm going to leave a link to the Kickstarter down in the description below, guys. Be sure to check that out because holy crap, this game... What? But anyway, thanks a ton, guys, for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, boom, like it. And leave a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. But don't think that this is goodbye because I'll catch you guys in the next batch of videos. Oh, these gravity puzzles are a little hard, guys. Not really hard, it's just I'm not used to the upside downness of it. You know what I mean? I gotta jump this way, and I gotta hop on this little platform, and I can do this, not, I, I'm supposed to hit that crystal, because it inverts it while you're falling and just kind of lands you there. But I keep fucking missing.